More than 100 cases of the measles have been confirmed so far. 13 of them are here in San Diego County. Well, from the measles to sleep apnea, Dr. Richard Shafu from Scripps is here answering your questions. Good morning to you. Morning, Good, to see you. Good to see you. Too. All right, let's go ahead and get to our first question. Uh, our first viewer wants to know with the measles going around, what symptoms should I be aware of before contacting the doctor? Should I go straight to the doctors or urgent care? This is Nancy from University City. We've got a picture here to kind of demonstrate what to look for. So, so exactly. So unfortunately, Erica, early on, measles looks like any viral or flu-like illness. You know, cough, runny nose, sore throat, low grade temperature. And then several days after that, you'll actually develop a rash. The rash usually begins around the hairline, the neck, the ears and then the entire face gets involved and as you can see later on in the in those other pictures there's a, a rash spreads to the trunk and the extremities so the time to go see your physician is if it seems like it's more than just a cold if you're running a high fever that persists if you're having a headache uh, photophobia you know sensitivity to the light uh, a lot of problem with your ears a chronic cough those are symptoms that you might be getting a secondary infection not just the virus measles because we notice that about a third of people that have measles will get some secondary infection and they can be quite serious we've seen cases of encephalitis which is an infection around the brain wow. uh, middle ear infections pneumonia you can get a low platelet count where you get excess uh, bruising or bleeding so there are some serious complications associated with measles. And you do want to call your doctor, call ahead, because yes. that was an issue we had with people going in to exactly. these clinics and then everybody's at risk who's in the waiting room. They right? are, and they've estimated, the CDC has estimated that about 90% uh, of people that come in contact with someone who has measles that have not been vaccinated are likely to get it. Wow. So okay. it's so definitely important. Very important for sure. Let's get to our next viewer question. Is it bad if people use electronic cigarettes as a nicotine replacement product as a way to quit? smoking. Lisa from Santee wants to know, this is what a lot of people are doing. This is a step to quit smoking, they say, but there yes. is some concern, right? There are concerns. Uh, unfortunately, Erica, uh, the uh, e-cigarettes or electronic cigarettes actually have nicotine in them, so they can be highly addictive. And the other issue is that they're not really marketed to help uh, stop smoking because anything that is used to stop smoking has to be regulated by the FDA and have clinical trials which e-cigarettes do not have. So okay. the, the take home message is that there's chemicals in these. We're not really sure what the long-term health effects are. They're probably not very effective okay. agents. Okay, very good. Our last question, my husband keeps snoring late at night. Is there anything that we can do to help him with it? Please help, Olivia from Lucadia wants to know. Well, about 40% of people actually will snore at some time in their lives, but unfortunately about one in four Americans snore habitually. And the problem with snoring is that it can be associated with more severe illnesses like obstructive sleep apnea, which we know can have serious long-term side effects. So simple treatments are that you like to keep the head of the bed elevated at night, not necessarily pillows, but a wedge under the bed. Okay. Make sure you get regular sleep at night. Go to sleep at the same time every day. Avoid tranquilizers, alcohol, heavy eating, right before you go to sleep at night. And then if you're gonna sleep at night, it's better to sleep on your side than on your back. If you sleep on your back, more likely the tongue and pharynx is gonna fall back mm. and cause obstruction to the airway. Okay, so the side is always better to better. try to avoid it. Dr. Shafu, good to have you good as to always. See you thank too, you so Erica. much. Thank we you. really appreciate it. All right, Raul, back over to you. All right guys, thank you. Still ahead this morning, Uber testing out new